O Lord, I trust in your merciful love. My heart will rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord who has been bountiful with me. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Welcome this evening, uh, wherever you are tuning in from. As we prepare to celebrate this Holy Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Make me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that always pondering spiritual things we may carry out in both word and deed that which is pleasing to you, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. These are my orders. Listen to my voice, then I will be your God, and you shall be my people. Follow right to the end the way that I mark out for you, and you will prosper. But they did not listen. They did not pay attention. They followed the dictates of their own evil hearts, refused to face me, and turned their backs on me from the day your ancestors came out of the land of Egypt until today. Day after day, I have persistently sent you all my servants, the prophets, grown stubborn, but they have not listened to me, have not paid attention. They have grown stubborn and behaved worse than their ancestors. You may say all these words to them, they will not listen to you. You may call them, they will not answer. So tell them this, here is the nation that will not listen to the voice of the Lord, its God, nor take correction. Sincerity is no more, it is vanished from their mouths. This is the word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The response to the psalm, O oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord, hail the rock who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks, with joyful songs let us hail the Lord. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Come in, let us bow and bend low, let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Harder not, oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts, as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice, harden not your hearts. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was casting out a devil, and it was dumb. But when the devil had gone out, the dumb man spoke, and the people were amazed. But some of them said, It is through Beelzebub, the prince of devils, that he casts out devils. Others asked him as a test for a sign from heaven. But knowing what they were thinking, he said to them, 
Every kingdom divided against itself is heading for ruin, and a household divided against itself collapse. So too with Satan. If he is divided against himself, how can his kingdom stand? Since you assert that it is through Beelzebub that I cast out devils. Now, if it is through Beelzebub that I cast out devils, through whom do your own experts cast them out? Let them be your judges then. But if it is through the finger of God that I cast out devils, then know that the kingdom of God has overtaken you. So long as a strong man fully armed guards his own palace, his goods are undisturbed. But when someone stronger than he is attacks and defeats him, the stronger man takes away all the weapons he relied on and shares out his spoil. He who is not with me is against me, and he who does not gather with me scatters. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the first reading from the book of Jeremiah, the prophet is saying the words of God, and God is saying that everyone in his, his people have turned their backs to him. And um, the nation will not listen to the voice of God, nor take correction. Sincerity is no more. It has vanished from their mouths. That sounds like quite a bleak verse. But it's often the case, isn't it, that when we think we can no longer need God, we think we can do things by ourselves, that's when we get into serious problems. You've just got to think of history when um, governments or ideologies decide to get rid of God and try and make things great through our own efforts. You might think of Nazism in Germany or communism in the Soviet Union. But we know that although we're noble creatures made in the image of God, we know we get things terribly wrong and we know we need a saviour. And we know that despite our pride and our arrogance sometimes, God is always ready to take us back and to forgive us. And maybe these words are for us today. Many of people in the West have forgotten God or they don't think he's very important anymore or they think he's not something worth their time or their, their thoughts or certainly their prayers. But perhaps this word from Jeremiah speaks to those people this evening. And we must pray for those who think that they don't need God in their lives because spiritually they are on shaky ground and they need our prayers. So let us remember this evening, brothers and sisters, though we are capable of much, we cannot save ourselves. We need a saviour. And we believe that person is the Son of God himself, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us bring our prayers to our Heavenly Father. Father, we pray for the church. We pray for unity in the church. That the walls that divide different Christians may come down and that we can praise you with one voice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the leaders of the church. We pray that they may be filled with the Spirit 
of wisdom and love and be bold enough to speak the truth. Father, we pray for the Pope, the Archbishop of Canterbury, the Ecumenical Patriarch. We pray for leaders of all churches across the globe. We pray for the Church of England and the Diocese of London, particularly Bishop Sarah and all clergy in London. We pray for Bishop Rob, who has oversight over Edmonton. We pray for Father Taman as he leads us in this parish. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for training colleges in the Church of England, those who are training the next priests, deacons. We pray that they may be blessed in their work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for PCCs up and down the country. We pray that their decisions may be guided by your spirit. We pray for our own PCC in this parish in particular. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for church schools. We pray for children that they may know the joy and the peace that comes through having a relationship with your Son. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the persecuted church. We pray that our brothers and sisters who are in times of trial and trouble and even fearing for their lives may be set free from their time of suffering. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for St. George's Church. We pray that we might be a beacon of light and shed abroad the warmth of Christ to this area of Enfield. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our ministry as well through the internet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for the world. We pray for peace. We pray for peace in all those areas blighted by war, violence and bloodshed. We pray for peace between generations and within families, peace between people of different ethnicities, peace between people of different genders. We pray for peace in every human heart. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for an end to this COVID-19 pandemic. We thank you for the successful rollout of vaccines and we pray that that may continue. We pray for our doctors and nurses and all who lead us through these uncertain times. We pray for the end to this incredibly difficult time Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those affected by natural disasters, those who are poor, and those who are forgotten and suffering injustice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for those who are suffering with poor mental health, those who are depressed, anxious, those who fear for the future. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we lift up to you those who are ill 
in mind, body or spirit. We pray for anybody watching this who is sick and people who are on our hearts as well. We pray for Heather Anderson, Pauline Stathers, Susie Athenu, Lorna English, Sajit Tosun, Luke Sheehan, Diana Jones, Angela Bell, Cindy Hart, Angela Fairclough, Claudia Berner, Barbara Baker, Michael Shine, Anne Bland, Arthur James, Kathy Ward, Jim Wallace, Helen Clark, Catherine Pohl, Adi Asuwaju, James Quinn, Gervin Vincent, Benny Watts, Peter Holliday, Robert Gerson, Peter Thorndike, Bill Bird, Ruby Bensey, John Thacker, Ian Francis, Aaron Deering, Baby Un Wu, and Maureen Sergison. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we lift up to you those recently departed. We pray for Dave Collins, Terry Hammond, Maria Wellham, Dennis Opara, Cindy Pereira, Bartholomew Quinn, Ron and Christine Humphreys, Ronald Painter, James Ray. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord. May light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Amen. And Father, we pray for those whose anniversary of death have occurred this today. We pray for Catherine Gosling, Thomas Booker, John Wells, Hilda Darlow, and Edward Cross. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May we spend a moment in silence, bringing our own prayers to our Heavenly Father. And we say together, Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Since we are justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us access to his grace. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father, we give you thanks and praise through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your living word, through whom you have created all things, who was sent by you in your great goodness to be our Saviour. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh. As your Son, born of the Blessed Virgin, he lived on earth and went about among us. He opened wide his arms for us on the cross. He put an end to death by dying for us and revealed the resurrection by rising to new life. So he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name for ever praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of Mary the Blessed Virgin, the Apostles, the Martyrs, St. George and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honour and glory be yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence in the words our Saviour taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen.
we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in the one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your salvation, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. The peace of God which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.